All right, so a little update video here on the Runcam 5 Orange um, and how the gyro flow stabilization is working on it currently. I, uh, as of the version RC5, and I'll show you a little bit of how I set it up and got the results I got. Uh, but it's not an in-depth tutorial, it's like that. The, the gyro flow application keeps changing. They keep adding features and taking away features. So doing an in-depth tutorial is kind of pointless at this, at least at this time and juncture. Um, uh, I put a little video out or on my Instagram on uh, this uh, RC5 Orange on my uh, Cinelog 35. And it is soft mounted, so you, you will need the camera soft mounted to get good, uh, well, decent results. I wouldn't call these. Uh, you guys can qualify the results at the end. Uh, I'm sure you'll have, you'll make your own judgments on that. They're, eh, they're not as good as Real Steady Go, at least not yet, but it's getting there. The gyro on this is kind of noisy, so you will have to soft mount this, which it was. I uh, have an ND filter on here. This is the camera butter ND filter for the uh, Hero 8. And just stuck on there. Um, it's not super secure, but it hasn't fallen off yet. And um, I am using the app to set the settings here. These are my settings. I did record in this 4, uh, 4K resolution, this XV mode, which is basically using the full 4.3 sensor which is um, uh, being squeezed into a uh, 4K 3840 by 2160 um, frame. So uh, we'll just I'll talk about this here, this is important. Anyway, I use this mode because um, it's the highest bit rate with the most detail. If you go with the 1440p 4.3, um, it doesn't quite capture enough detail and and, and bit rates, so the the result, end results aren't as good as using this with the uh, modifications that you'll have to make, which I'll explain here shortly. But here are the rest of my settings: uh, uh, shutter auto sensitivity at 400, and I use flat color. And under general, uh, low saturation, low contrast, low sharpness, and I set the white balance to sunny. And I made a bunch of modifications to the final results. If you want better results in camera and not with a lot of post-processing work, then you can adjust these settings here for more contrast, more saturation, but I would rather do that in the video editing uh, post-process instead. So when you record in this mode, it will, as I said, squeeze a 4.3 uh, image, uh, 4.3 video into a, a 16 by nine container. So you have to stretch that out to 4.3 in some sort of video editor. So I used Adobe Premiere, uh, whatever video editor you're using, you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Um, basically you have to convert that 3840 by 2160 video into a 3840 by 2880 video. And that's what I did. I just basically changed uh, the sequence to a larger uh, you know, uh, vertical field of view and a resolution and then I stretched out the video to fill that full 2880 vertical uh, field of view which gives you that 4-3 resolution or aspect ratio video and then I exported that at a really high bit rate I think I exported at 150 megabits just to keep all the data even though it's the original data the original video is only like 65 70 megabits and then once I uh, save that, and I imported that into Gyroflow. So we go ahead and get the latest Gyroflow. This is RC5. By the time you watch this video, I'm sure RC9 or version 2 or 10 is out by now. Uh, the progress is pretty quick, so it's hard to keep up with all the versions. But anyway, this is what I did. i um, not going to explain in every little detail. I'm just going to show you what I did. And, um, it literally takes like five minutes to set it up. Basically, I opened the file. I you have to open up the lens profile for the Runcam 5 Orange. I used the one that's actually like uh, 1080p or 1440p for three, which will give you a little error message saying it's not the correct resolution, which is obviously correct, but is the correct aspect ratio, which uh, which will still produce the same end results. For some reason, um, that lens profile doesn't exist yet. I'm sure someone will make it at some point. And of course, you do have to open up the gyro data, which is that CSV file. 
Now, because this uh, gyro is very noisy, I turned on the uh, low pass filter and set it to one hertz. Um, I may need to go lower I, it, 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 to get better results because I, you just see some micro jitters in the video. It is getting better. There's a new feature in RC5 called um, Estimate Gyro Bias, which is what I used here. And I think that cleans up the data a little bit better. Uh, so when I used, um, when I, I, did, when I did some results on RC3, the micro jitters were, were a fair bit worse, so they are getting a little bit better. And I just used the auto sync feature at that point uh, to set the auto, uh, set the sync points. And at this point, before you export, you have to change the uh, aspect ratio back to 3840 by 2160. And then go ahead and export the file. And at that point, you'll have um, a video file that you can import into Premiere or some other video editor. At this point, then, I just did you know, standard stuff here, um, color grading, added, adding back some uh, saturation and contrast. Um, just cleaning it up a little bit. And this is the end results that you're seeing here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this so far. Obviously, things are still moving along with Gyroflow. It's, um, you know, it's a work in progress, right? So, but things are getting better and better. So I'm sure there's gonna be additional features that are gonna be added to clean up the gyro data on this one. It's the gyro data is pretty noisy on this one. Um, but the end results are pretty decent for a, you know, that's a $100 or $99 camera um, and free stabilization software. So can't really complain too much of the end result. Um, the, in terms of the micro jitters, you might be able to clean it up a little bit with like uh, maybe some warp stabilizer or something like that in Premiere or some sort of additional, you know, video stabilization inside your video editor, uh, depending on what you're using. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think of the, the end results here, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.